Yeah, I asked McAvoy about the film. He said he wanted people to be devastated after they watched Atonement. What did you want the reaction to be? Devastation is always quite good, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I think you have to cry at the end of Atonement. That's it's true. Cool. And when you first read it, what went through your mind? Oh, no, I, I, it completely devastated me. I think devastation is the right word. It made me sob and sob and sob. And so far, seeing the reactions of people that have seen it, it's made people cry as well, which is fantastic. He also said, this is kind of strange, but it may be creepy, but he also said he couldn't make love for three months after shooting the film. I think that was a lie. W was that was it a wind-up? I think that's a wind-up. Is that British sarcasm that's in print that Americans just believe? I think that's a fantastic example of yeah. British sarcasm, yeah. Who are you wearing this evening? I'm wearing, I'm, I don't uh, know, who am I wearing? Valentino. I think, re I remember. Know, I know, um, Valentino. He's going to kill you. And an Alexander Wang jacket. Very lovely. Uh, I have to do a favor for my friend Ben Lyons, who you guys probably have met. Yeah. Pleasure business. to see you. How are you? You're a nightly Ben nice Lyons, you. who's our film critic and a massive, massive fan of Atonement. Well, I had heard that James McAvoy was your best on-screen catch. Better than Orlando Bloom, better than Johnny Depp. Is that because this is the first time you and I are sharing the screen and we have not kissed yet? Well, I just asked you a question. This is strange for me to be in the middle of. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Sorry. I apologize. We just ranking so in my life. I introduced you to Kira Knightley. You're ranking kisses. I asked her a question about James McAvoy, and she you took it there. So there you go. Well, congratulations. Have a wonderful time tonight. Thank you. See you later.